about a few numbers. Let's go to make our left turn right now. Here I'm already at 70. That's what's making it hard. Yeah, it's real squirrely here. Go ahead and put that last notch in. All right, get us down to, uh, I'd start coming down right about now. A little bit of power. A little bit more power. More in? More. more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Runway, not the threshold. It's efficient now. Alright. Keep it coming down. There you go. Pull that power up. Let it clear. There you go. It's a little squirrely at the, the, uh, the valley. Holy valley right there, yep. See the, all the wind sacks here? that guy coming into Hamburg? Ah, uh, he didn't, he was just flying around there. That's what he normally does. Oh, he don't, really? He don't like to use his radios. Learning to fly out of this field. <laughs> Your first takeoff is a short field. Yeah. Now it's always a cross one here, so the winds are starting to pick up a little bit. That's why I wanted to come here today. You know, once we re realized that Dunkirk was out of the question. Yeah. Because you rarely get a day here where it's not a crosswind, and this is perfect short field practice. Oh yeah, because it's required. Yeah. So I'm gonna go down the two Second. notches. But, I mean, you see the performance of the airplane. And it's performing way well enough to get off the field in time. Yeah. You know, obviously the hotter the day, the worse performance you're going to get. So that's why you got to really crunch those numbers, make sure you can get into that airfield. And if it's grass, which they do use this part for grass runway, you're, you're looking at a lot more takeoff distance just because it's grass and it's not hard pavement. Yeah. Just some things to think about, you know. It, I know you wanted to mix things up, so... Yeah, no, it's good. It's uh, definitely a lot more... But now you, you're, now you heard that stall warning horn come on a little bit as we were taking off. Yeah. That's because like you pulled that. up real quick. That. Yeah, that's, that's why you got to keep those air speeds yeah. nailed. And it's just because you, you, you pitched it up real quick. You were overcorrecting for the wind, that's all.
But you see what I mean by all available runway. Yeah. So when you do it for the test, use all available runway, just like here. So you can, in fact, go ahead and just go straight. Uh-huh. And add a little bit of power. Uh-huh. Go ahead and hit the right rudder pedal all the way to the floor. Power. Just get yourself to move on there. There you go. Now straighten it out and stop as soon as you can. Is that there? So okay. last time I pitched too much, you think, or it was the wind that got me? No, it was the wind that got you. It was a gust. And what it did was is you, it tried pushing you down and you tried pulling up to get out of it. And what you did is you pulled up a little too hard and you put some, remember the accelerated stall? Yeah. It was sort of like that, except not in the bank. Okay. So, but it wasn't a stall, five ton nuts above stall speed, so. All right. Just do everything. What? Traffic 42 Juliet departing 01. We'll be departing toward Buffalo or 42 Juliet. Okay. Ready to go? Yep. Full power. And let her go. And let her go. Make sure I'm not on those brakes. Yep. Which I don't think I am. Now rotate it about 55, 60. 55, 60. We're at 40, 50, 55. Okay. Hold 65, 70. This is where... Yeah, let's see how the airspeed's going down. You just have yeah, to pitch down. If the airspeed goes down like that, you just, if you pitch it down, it's gonna go right up. But you got this airspeed nailed, that's good. 